Well, I'm out today on the Revolt with a new set of wheels. Oh boy, it's cold today. Got a headwind along here and there's an icy blast. And you're thinking, what? More new wheels? So all you ever seem to do is buy new wheels. And you'll be right. And I'm very frustrated about it. Because all three of my bikes have broken spokes. And I keep getting people telling me you know, a spoke shouldn't really break. But all mine have. So I went to my local bike shop and I said, this is really frustrating. What's the solution? And he said, I'll build you a set of wheels. So we went away to have a think about it. And then he came back. Last Friday. And he said, it's going to cost a lot of money for a custom wheel build. And he said, I think you should have a look at these DT Swiss G1800. So I spent the weekend reading up about wheels. And every review of the G1800s, the whole theme all the way through the article was entry level, entry level, entry level, entry level. And entry level wheels will probably be good enough for me. But the other side of me said, well, if you're going to spend money on new wheels, Perhaps you should get something that's a step up. You want to spend money buying something that's going to last you for a few years. So I went back and I said, well, what's the price of the GR 1600 wheels? Anyway, it worked out. With the GR1600s are 75 pounds more, so I said I'll have them. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, yeah, we can get them cheaper online, and you're probably right. But I went in with my bike. And he changed the wheels over, including changing the cassette, putting the tyres on, putting sealant in, all of those kind of things. So I thought it was worth paying the extra. But the other thing is that I want somewhere to go back to. If it goes wrong, you know, if you buy something online and it goes wrong, well, yeah, you send it back. But you just send it back and you wait. And then you get an email and they've made a decision, they disagree with you, and there's nothing you can do. You're just dealing with a faceless email. And it's with the bike shop, you hand it to a person and you say, this is broken. And they say, oh, okay. And I'll send it back. I'm on a new path, never been down here before, so a little bit cautious because I don't know where it goes or anything. 
Anyway, back to the story. If you have a problem with something you bought from your local bike shop, you can ring them back. They'll say, well, what's happening, you know? You have a person to talk to, someone to fight your corner. And as you know from previous videos, oh, I've had a bit of an up and down relationship with bike shops. The fact is, the more you buy from them, the better they're going to treat you. So what do we think of the wheels? Well, am I really qualified to say? I don't know. I mean, I changed the wheels on the Trek to the Hunt wheels and I couldn't really tell the difference if I'm really honest. So, if you'd led me out to the bike blindfolded today, put me on it and said go for a ride and tell me what's different. Would I have known? I don't know. But I will say the bike is riding beautifully today. Now that might just be psychological and it might just be me. Because you know, some days you just get on the bike and you just feel good. I'm not sure if this is even a cycle path and whether it's a footpath. The fact that it's got anti-cycle barriers does give me the impression they don't want you riding down here. But it does show up on Garmin. Garmin heat maps as a popular route. Oh, that's interesting. I know where I am now. I wasn't expecting to come out here. So I don't know what the solution is. Is it me? You know, people say, yeah, spokes shouldn't break. It's a sign of a poor quality wheel. Other people say, well, yeah, they will break if you're a fat boy. And if you're strong, and people tell you, you know, you need straight pull spokes or you no, know, J-bend are better. So all we can hope for that these wheels do last. One of the things the reviews did say was that there is a discernible difference between the G1800s and these wheels. The ride feel. And as I said, I don't know if it's just psychological, but they do seem to feel really nice. Bike's riding really well. then. <laughs> Safe to say that Garmin is a little bit hit and miss when it comes to routing. Down here is a scary corner. do is just go fast as we can and get round it because it's very narrow here and a bit blind. <laughs> 